This is a colour puck. It's an experimental device uh, I created in 2007. I just spontaneously made it because I thought it would be quite interesting to try it out. And it's basically, wherever you place it, it just produces a, a wash of illumination underneath because it's got eight LEDs uh, so, uh, surrounding the perimeter. And I must have been really tired or really rushing this through because now I look at it, uh, I can see that when I built that, um, I spelt my own website, bigclive.com, with an extra dot, big.clive.com, which is wrong. Um, and I also missed a link, which is kind of like, you know, silly. But not to worry, it was a prototype. Now, there's a track here with a link position in it for a reason. You see, this is designed to take both uh, blue, green, red, whatever colour of lights you want. And it also has individual cell holders for one AA battery each. And the reason for the link in the middle is that if you, you're you using a low voltage LED, like a red one, you can just use two cells instead of the three and just miss out the middle cell holder and put a link in in that position across there, just bridging it out. The LEDs are all in parallel and there's one resistor. It's a 100 ohm resistor and I've just measured it and it was one volt across that resistor, which means that the LEDs are, are drawing between them 10 milliamps. And I do have to say they're not perfectly matched. There is a slight um, unevenness. So I think maybe I'd be tempted to use a different, a separate resistor for each LED just to even that out in future. But um, based on that, the, the whole current being 10 milliamps means that uh, these batteries are typical nickel metal hydride cells. So say they've got a capacity around about the 2000 milliamp hour mark. That means it's going to run for about 200 hours continually at that intensity. And if you wanted it to be brighter, you could actually double the current uh, and have it run for 100 hours continuous. Or if you were just going for a real wham, bam, maximum intensity, you could um, change it so that the thing was at sort of roughly, I don't know, let's, sure, let's see. Uh, if it was 20 milliamps per LED, that would be 160 milliamps. Uh, 2,000 divided by 160 milliamps. Oh, that would still run for about 12 hours. So, yeah. Not sure if I'd run that full 20 milliamps. 10 milliamps would be good, though. But, yeah, um, yeah, it's quite neat. I may actually revisit that because it looks quite nice. It, uh, even on a black surface, it provides that ominous glow around it. It's quite neat.